they name it Sadie? It seems too nice a name for a hurricane. They should have called it something scary, like Nigel. Did I say hey. Hey. What a wonderful kind of day. How sad I was when I lost Pierre. Pierre? My pet rock. I had him in the pocket of my bathing suit when I went to the beach last summer. If only I had taught him how to swim. Care to donate? Sure. Here you go. Buster, I'm trying to raise money, not fruit. What if they rescue a pet monkey? It could come in handy. What was that? Did you hear something? I hear a thump, thump, thump. Oh, wait, that's just my heart. <laughs> oh, it's an Octo Badger. He wants to nibble on your brain. <laughs> ah! Rise and shine. What are you doing here? Your mom let me in. Come on, we have to get going. I laid your clothes out for you. Today I thought you'd wear a white shirt, a yellow v-neck sweater, and blue jeans. Is that good? I've got it. <sighs> I know what you're going to say. Mr. Ratburn has been replaced by an alien. I wasn't going to say that. Oh. I was going to say Mr. Ratburn escaped from aliens and now uses their advanced technology to fight crime as a superhero. Five, six. Buster, what are you doing? Trying to stretch my jeans. I haven't worn this pair since September, and now they're tight. Wait, there's something in this pocket. Maybe that's why they're tight. Hey, I remember this cheese sandwich. Ew! Oh, throw it away! I'm probably gonna regret this, but you're hired. And don't worry, it's not like I'm gonna catch what Arthur has. Oh, beans! I had no idea I knew so much. How can this head hold all that information? Buster, no one cares about the current weather on Pluto. Tell that to the Plutonians. Dear Mr. Ratburn, my story's plain to see. My mind was filled with junk, half-truths and fallacies. But after your instruction, I think more critically. Now when I meet an alien, I'll speak intelligently. Oh, an interview. Hi, Buster Baxter here, Chief Inventor. Chief Inventor? What do you mean? I designed our first product, but only because I asked you to. We will now open the floor for discussion. Anyone? Oh, if we close the library, how will alien civilizations know that we were an advanced society, not just a bunch of hairy animals glued to their cell phones? Thank you. Pretty good, huh? She should just make one thing and serve it for both meals, like meatloaf. Meatloaf? For breakfast? What? It's like a meat pancake, especially if you put syrup on it. Ugh. There is this part in a wedding where they ask if anybody objects. Yeah, I saw that on TV. If someone objects, the wedding is over. Then the bride flies away on a giant cricket. Huh? It was in a dark bunny, but I think the law is accurate. It's a new app that turns everyone into a hippie. See? Wow. I really like that look. What are you supposed to be again? Candy Boy. Candy Boy get angry when he no get candy. Rawr! But don't worry. Candy Boy is very happy this year. He beat last Halloween's candy quota. Oh, yeah. Mr. Ratburn said they lost a lot of their school supplies in the flood. We should make them welcome kits. I have a lot of extra scrunchies we could give them. And I have some ketchup-flavored jelly beans. Or jelly beans I accidentally got ketchup on. And then we'll present the petition to the principal. Who should do that? I'll do it. Look, I have hypnotizing glasses. There's no way she can say no. 